Frank Auerbach's masterful figure on a bed number two from 1967 comes from the very best period of this great artist's work. We see, of course, the signature swirls and mountains of gelatinous oil paint, the sensuality and dynamism of the figure lying on the bed, contrasts rather beautifully with the thick impasto paint towards the extreme edges of the board, the sheer complexity of the composition and the quality of the condition all combined to make this one of the great works by the artist to appear at auction in many a year. This auction at Bonhams contains three absolutely classic works on paper by the great French artist Jean de Buffet. Mir G13 Bolivar from 1983 is a magnificent late work showing very loosely represented personage interplaying across colour and compositional boundaries. Günther Uecker's Lichtscheibe from 1967 is everything that you'd want from a great piece by this incredibly influential artist. It features his signature nails on a monochrome white board. But in addition here, we see a motorized artwork that allows the nails to interplay, creating shadowy illusions and a kinetic feeling to a work that is radical from this period. Uecker's career has spanned six decades, and yet at no point has his work ever surpassed the quality and neutrality of this signature work. Carl André is internationally recognised as a titan of the minimalist movement. This founding piece from 1967, in the absolute white heat of his career, is one of the greatest pieces to come to auction in recent memory. This is an outrageous and provocative work and absolutely central to this great artist's career. The great French artist César has rightly been celebrated by a major retrospective of his career at the Pompidou Centre in Paris. César was famous for his assemblage and for his compressions, and in this case we can see him as the direct heir to Marcel Duchamp. Arnulf Reiner remains one of the great agents provocateurs of European art in the late 80s and 90s. The explosion of the paint as it's applied not just to the canvas but to the frame that surrounds it shows the real central tenets of the movement that he was most synonymous with, Viennese action painting. 